Uh, next is from Under Dawson, and the subject is Vin Diesel versus The Rock. What's up, guys? The, pl- the Rock has been plugging his new Netflix movie, Red Notice, and he did this big interview with Gigo. Bro, The Rock is on everything. He's on HBO, Netflix. He's like literally like on any media thing. He's 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 plastered all over yeah, everywhere. Young Rock. Yeah, you know, it's like at the NBC. It's like how many things is Red Rock? Usually, it used to be if you were it used to be. If you were an actor, you were, you were a screen actor. You were, you were in the movies. And then the guys that weren't in the movies were in television, but some of them like mixed. But some of them, was, so basically there was TV actors and there was movie actors. Now there's like like Netflix and HBO were putting on such great content. To, like, you know, it's like the TV actors or the movie actors and The Rock is literally on every single thing, every platform. Yep. It's unbelievable. I mean, he's the number one actor. Is he the Joe? He's is the number one actor in the world right now, correct? Yes. Yeah. Unbelievable. Isn't that unbelievable? They got twenty years. Like, like we we got. But we knew twenty years ago he was gonna be great, bro. You and me yeah. used to sit in the locker room to watch him, and we get get heat from the boys, and we we're yeah. like, F- "That he's entertaining as." Yeah. What's up, guys? The Rock has been plugging his new Netflix movie, Red Notice, and he did this big interview with GQ magazine, which brought up the topic of his arguments with Vin Diesel on the sets of Fast and Furious Seven and Eight. The Rock has, from what I know. Never been known to be the type of guy to get into feuds, etc. But I was wondering, Conan and Disco, have you at least heard stories about The Rock during his wrestling career having any real problem? I do remember near 20 years ago reading that The Rock and Kevin Nash did not get along at all in the WWE to the point that Kevin Nash just recently apologized to him publicly via Twitter. Can you guys give any background to this? Um, yeah, I know. It, it was. I, I remember Kevin telling me that um, the, the Rock was like rubbed the wrong way by those guys when they came in. Yeah. And it wasn't anything that they did or anything like that. He just said, it, I guess he had heard some stuff about them, but but he was just, he he thought, you know, he, Kevin and Hogan and, and Scott Hall rubbed him the wrong way. Maybe it it's like, because you know, Kevin, I, I, Kevin and Scott had an association with Sean and Hunter, and Rock had some problems with those two early on. So right. maybe he associated so he them all together. So he just had his radar up for those guys, yeah. and maybe they, they never, they, they did business, but it's like, you know, I don't know, let me see this comment here. It's on Newsweek, for Nash has mentioned it in shoots. You the, know? The, the Rock and Kevin Nash squashed the WWE beef no one knew they had. Right? That's, that's the title of the thing. So it's like, you know, okay. Uh, WWE fans would be glad to see two wrestling legends bury the hatchet, even if they don't know there was a feud in the first place. Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Nash exchanged humble messages on Twitter where fans got to see Nash regret his behavior towards his wrestling rival back in the year 2002. Taken in stride, Johnson assured Nash there was never any bad blood between the pair. Um, 62-year-old Nash started the exchange between the two by posting a gym selfie. He thanked the NWO Nation for their support at the Indiana Comic Con. Nash then described his workout in the gym and referring, referencing the Under Armour shoes he was wearing, thanked The Rock for, quote, putting, these, putting out these badass kicks. Um, so let's see this. Uh, yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> this, made, this story made news. We could, here's, the, here's the tweet. Kevin tweets, okay? Great day at Indiana Comic Con. Thanks, NWO Nation, for the strong showing. Fantastic hotel gym. Got arms and abs in. Thanks at The Rock for putting out these badass kicks. Looking forward to seeing everyone tomorrow. I'll hit my table at 1030, despite, despite a nice wine list downstairs. And it shows Kevin. Kevin's always jacked. I mean, he looks fantastic. Um, and Dwayne Johnson basically uh, says, you're an inspiration, my brother. In tremendous shape. Holy sh- Way to raise the bar. Um, the comments came back even stronger from Nash toward Johnson as he addresses all stars, the stars all around career. Nash wrote, following your lead, your work ethic is amazing. Your filming schedule will kill most mortals, but the promotion for your films is to grind. You film and promote at the same time. Sorry I was such a he's D blank 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 to you when I came back in 202 just trying to keep my spot. Uh, then does The Rock reply to hey, The Rock replies this. I wanted to all. I want us all to link up and make a lot of money for us in the whole roster. I wanted us all to link up and make a lot of money for us in the whole roster. WS WrestleMania 18 was huge and a career highlight for me. As was our big mania buildup, we had a chance to have fun and rumble. It was a great time in our business. Wish we could have worked more. NWO for life. So that's I guess the uh, squashed. Whatever, right? <laughs> that was five minutes out of my life. I could have condensed that in like like one minute story, right?